Hello, my name is Kishwani. This K E S H W A N R Kishwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the T's. We have been solving math problems out of this book here. There's 30 manuals for the T's. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. The problems that we are about to solve are the ones that you will find on page number 78. Please turn to it. Page number 78 and today is our lesson number 25. On page 78 what we find are not problems but rather just one problem. Let's see what we can do. It's 2.33 is what we are talking about here. 2.33 the example. 2.33 which is the cost of the dinner cost of the dinner we are told that we have, let's, let's, let's put the menu over here 965 or we are told for the chicken entree who is these people are very picky, very particular about the English language they even go through the trouble of putting the accent argue. Very particular. They go on to tell us that ten dollars and ninety-five cents for the steak entree. What else do we have? We have salad for two forty five. We have dessert for three dollars and fifteen cents and we have tea at dollar five each we are told that seventy five people are to be served seventy five people are to be served we are further told that thirty four of them select chicken entree 34 of them select chicken, so that's 34 times, and this is where the approximation will begin, this is where the game will begin, how much is chicken? Chicken is $9.65, we're not going to waste uh, our time to figure out the exact bloody figure here, 9.65 times 34, that'll be annoying, let's just pretend it's $10, $10, so that's $340, 340. so this amount here, we are approximating as $10. Similarly, the steak we can approximate as eleven dollars. This we can approximate as ten dollars. Nine sixty-five, ten dollars is the same thing. So if there are if there are seventy-five people and thirty-four of them select this thing, then seventy-five minus thirty-four is one forty-one. That implies that implies that 41 must have selected the steak. So that's 41 times 11 dollars. 41 times 11, let's find out, shall we? 41 times 11. 41 times 11, let's see what we can do here. 11, 11 times 1 is 11, so that's 1, carry 1. And 11 times 4 is 44, 44 plus 1 is 45. So that's 451 dollars. So those were the two big items. Those were the biggest expenses. Those were the biggest expenses for the dinner. One more time, I'm going to show you what, what I did with the multiplication here. I did not do one digit at a time, but I took 11 as a whole. We took 11 as a whole. 11 times 1 is 11. 1, carry 1, and 11 times 4 is 44 plus 1 is 45. The reason we do it together is because 11 is very easy to deal with. So that's it. We're done with it. Now we're going to do the other small items, the miscellaneous item that everybody had. We are told that everybody had the other items. Let me just read carefully just to make sure. A catered retirement dinner is being planned for 75 people. 34 people selected chicken. The rest selected the steak. If everyone is served, a mixed salad, a dessert, and the iced tea, what is the total cost of the dinner? All right, so, so everybody had a salad, which is 
250. We're going to pretend that this is 250. Everybody had a dessert, which we're going to pretend is three dollars. We're going to drop the we're going to drop the fifteen cents, and everybody had a tea, which is one dollar. We're going to drop the five cents. So that's the amount of uh, money that we're going to spend on every person, regardless of what they have for the main course. So that's fifty and six dollars and fifty cents times times 75 this is what we have to figure out next six dollars and fifty cents per person times 75 people I need the room obviously so I'm gonna to have to erase this part but remember six dollars and fifty cents what we're trying to figure out is six dollars and fifty cents times 75 let's see how we do it shall we So we have 75 people and we're going to spend six dollars and fifty cents on every one of them. So I'm going to write that as six and a half dollars. Okay? Watch what happens. 75, I need my thing here, otherwise I cannot talk. 75 times six and a half is same as 75 times six. 75 times six plus 75 times half. Now what is half of 75? We'll find out in a second. 75 and half of that. That's what it is. This part is very easy. 75 times 6, we can do it here. 75 times 6. 6 fives are 30. 0, carry 3. 7 6 are 42. 42 plus 3 is 45. So it's 450. Now keep in mind that, uh, well, yeah, it is, it is dollar amount actually. This is the dollar amount. Never mind that. And now we have to take a half of that, okay? Let's see how we multiply 75 by 2. Okay, watch what happens. How many 7s, how many 2s in a 7? Seven? 7 has 3 2s. 3 2s are 6. So you cross out the 7, put down 3. The remaining one goes and joins the 5 and becomes 15. How many, how many 2s in a 15? 15 has 7 2s. 7 2s are 14. And then we're going to have half. In other words, in other words, half of $75 is $37.5. But if you don't want to make it too much fuss about this thing, you can approximate half of 75 is about 20. It's not a big deal. It's about 20. So it's 450 plus around 20 or 37 you like. That's all. So let's figure out the total cost then. Total cost is going to be the chicken, which we just found out was 340. The steak which we just found out was 450. You see I'm dropping that one there. I'm dropping that one there because I'm going to use that one here to make it a nice round figure of 40. We're not going to worry about it. So this is 450 and this is around 40. This part is around 40. So it's 490 for the miscellaneous. Miscellaneous is 490. That's it, we're done. Miscellaneous is 490. Which comes from 450 which is 75, 75 times 6 plus half of 75, half of 75 is about 20. Uh, half of 75 is about 40. So 40 plus 450 is 490, which is the miscellaneous thing, which is the, we erase everything, the, the, the whatever they're buying, the, the tea and the dessert and the salad. That's it. So that's 0. 4 plus 5 is 9. 9 plus 9 is 18. 8. Carry 1. 3 plus 1 is 4. And 4 plus 4 is 8. And 12. Looks like this dinner is going to cost twelve hundred and eighty dollars, about approximately, approximately twelve hundred and eighty dollars. This figure is close enough. This figure is close enough for us to be able to locate the right answer in the exam. And you have to do all of this thing in a hurry. Do you understand? Without the calculator, in a hurry. Obviously, you have to approximate. There is no other choice. Approximation is okay as long as you're reasonable. And this is a quite reasonable figure. You should have no trouble at all locating the right answer. They're not going to be that close enough to each other. Do you understand? What do we have for tomorrow? Uh, tomorrow we have two more pages on the next, uh, two more questions on the next page on 79. We'll deal with those tomorrow. Okay? Bye now.